What's up, y'all? So typically people who come to my channel know that they want to be a PA, but there are those occasions where people stumble across my channel, thanks for joining me, and you have no idea what you want to do. You don't know if you want to be a PA, be an MD, be an NP, a nurse. You don't know if you want to be a chef. You know that you have some interests in different things and different specialties, but you don't know exactly what you want to get into. If that is you, this video is for you. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as I stated, um, this is for those of you who have no idea what you wanna get into, and that can be specialty or career. I had a question asked recently, and they were talking about, you know, they're going into undergrad and they, essentially want to be a PA, they think, right, this person thinks they want to be a PA, however, they're not really sure. Um, you know, anatomy and microbiology don't really interest them, uh, but at the same time, they think that they want to be a PA, and they have no idea how to kind of like make this decision. Um, and they don't even know if really and truly if being a PA is the right decision for them. And so this is, I think, a dilemma that most people come across, uh, not just with respect to PA school specifically or um, being a physician or a nurse or a therapist of some kind but also just in life you know trying to understand hey I think I have this desire but uh, is this really what will work well for me is this what is is meant for me I guess you can say so I wanted to kind of give you guys a couple things to look at when deciding what career you should go into what specialty you should go into what move you should to kind of make in life uh, that you'll kind of be stuck with for a, a, a period of time before you decide to make another switch. If you have no idea <laughs> whatsoever, like what your undergraduate major should be, um, you know, what specialty you want to get into, what career you want to get into, uh, I think that you should go back to what you did when you were a child, right? So when we were children, we were very inquisitive. You know, we wanted to know everything. Like my little one, my youngest daughter, she's always asking, okay, mommy, well, what does it do or what is it? Um, and if you haven't seen that video of her asking me about the, <laughs> the period cup, uh, go ahead and uh, check that video out. It's a short, so it's funny. But this, it goes specifically to this in that you're inquisitive when you're a child. And at the same, at the same token, this is what you need to do when you're trying to figure out what career or specialty I'm trying to get into. So how do we do that, right? We have a little bit more at our disposal. We have YouTube, so you can go to YouTube and watch my video like you're doing right now and subscribe to my channel so you know exactly when a new video is coming out. And then you'll be able to see, all right, okay, well, what is it like to be a PA? You can see what is it like to be a physician or a nurse, or is there something else that interests me? You know, do I not want to be in healthcare at all? So that is one thing. Another way that you can do or find out more information, because that is really the number one thing that you're trying to figure figure out initially is you're going to ask questions and find out information. So you can ask questions to people in the field. Um, if you don't know any like physicians or PAs or chefs or whoever it is that you're trying to be when you grow up, personally, uh, there are lots of public figures on like Instagram and YouTube and they will answer your questions. You know, sometimes they don't an answer them like as quickly as you want, but they will get to them just because they're kind of inundated with questions but you can DM them another thing that you really should do is just like with anything right like if I'm trying to you know like my friend is taking me to a new restaurant and she's like hey you want to try out this new um, thing I've tasted it it's so good you should try it Adana and then I'm like I don't know like I don't know if I'm gonna like it it's the same thing you have to try it you're never gonna know what you like unless you try it. Now, obviously you can't try out or test out being like a physician or a PA or a nurse, but you can shadow. And this is where shadowing is huge, right? You're gonna be able to get in there. And, and I know you guys, I know that it, there are lots of barriers to um, shadowing these days just because of COVID and HIPAA and all of those things. But there are 
places and people that are still allowing students and pre-healthcare students to shadow. So you just kind of have to search them out. Uh, the internet is a great place, like Instagram and YouTube are great places and platforms to look up these things because there you'll have people who are showing you like hey I just had a student come in and shadow or you know something along those lines and you can find these people that are willing to allow you to shadow or that uh, their offices or their facility is willing to allow you to shadow because sometimes it's not necessarily the person but it's their um, department or facility that they're working in but shadowing is key it is the number one thing that you really should get into if you have no idea what you want to be when you grow up right this is your way to kind of test drive it you'll be able to go and like walk in the life and in the day of that particular career or specialty um, and see what they do what they specifically do on a day-to-day -day basis now obviously it's very very specific to them and to their workload but at the same token you can also go and try to shadow somebody else in the same field even because their workload and their their workflow may be different than the other person that you just finished shadowing. So that is really like my ultimate like tip or information for you to do absolutely yes ask questions be inquisitive go back to your childlike state um, but when it all comes down to it what will help you make the best decision is actually kind of like living it or working it or doing it and the only way really and truly you can get to experience that is through shadowing now there are opportunities to virtually shadow um, it's obviously not like being right there in the thick of things in like you know um, in a, a cavity or looking at like the abdominal cavity of somebody and seeing the peristalsis there's only so much that you can describe via voice obviously to help you understand like what things are but if you cannot actually physically shadow it's the next best thing to like virtually shadow and we do offer virtual shadowing on get that to university so be sure to check us out all right so hopefully i answered this question um you can take this across any lines um in life you know in terms of what you want to do listen to me if you want to figure out if this is right for you um you know you got to do it you got to take a leap of faith and get out there and try it um and if you cannot physically try it because you may need some certifications like you know things in healthcare, then shadowing is your next best bet all right thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already answered go ahead and like this video follow me on instagram at adam pa and on instagram at get that to university where we help you not only get into but through pa school through all of our consultation sessions be sure to just kind of check out some of my other videos on like how to get into pa school and all the things you should do i think i should make a new video an updated version of like the pa specialties and how much they make if you want to see that let me know in the comments section below and you know what thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time bye